Um, and Monogram is a um, boutique caterer that specializes in seasonal and sustainable cuisine. I came to sustainability because of my, my love of the seasons. Uh, you know, I love when things change. Um, you know, I'm not one of, the, I'm one of those kids who grew up eating strawberries in June and then when the strawberries were, were gone, um, you know, I wasn't eating them in December. And, you know, to even today when, I, when I'm with my, with my son, um, they just, there's such an anticipation when a, a season changes and you've got um, pumpkin, as we were just talking about with Catherine Ann's um, confections. The, um, or cranberries, or even in the winter when you start having more citrus fruits. Um, it really builds up the flavor profiles and um, they're just better when they're in season. And the sustainability aspect of it is something that I've really come to um, become really important to me. I started going to the farmers markets and talking to the, to the farmers and and really understanding what the importance of um, their role in caring for the soil and caring for the earth and not um, not using pesticides that, that contaminate our environment. And um, you know, the more I learned about it, the more I realized that this is this is the right way to go for for cooking and um, for the future of future of our food. Uh, my mom, who loves to cook as well, when I was four years old started me every Saturday night. I was to plan and help her prepare uh, dinner for me, me, my father, and her. And uh, let's just say there were some creative choices in the very beginning. <laughs> the, my mother always points out that there was a, a couple times where we ate Ritz crackers and peanut butter and jelly. And I believe that once they put me to bed, they ate something different. But um, as the, the years went by, my cooking definitely improved and just um, really instilled in me a great love of food and cooking. Um, and I uh, actually always wanted to do this, but um, given my parents were both professionals, they really felt that uh, a professional career, like when I say professional, I'm more like engineering or teaching or the law, um, they wanted me to go into law school. And um, being a dutiful daughter, I did that and spent 10 years in the law as an um, attorney at a big firm and then became a partner. And then finally when I had my son, I realized that if I was gonna spend a lot of time doing something as I was doing as a partner in a law firm, it better be something that I loved doing. And that's really what brought me into, uh, into catering. Well, finishing a dish, um, I really always feel like you know, it's, it's interesting, like, um, I know that my mother always gave me that tip of when you were getting dressed to always take one piece of jewelry off. And I think in cooking or in, in catering, it's actually the exact opposite. It's always that one little last thing that, that you put on and it can change a dish, whether it be a, str a sprig of fresh thyme or um, a uh, you know, a sprinkling of chives, or even just a, a bit of interesting sea salt. I have a wonderful collection of um, different sea salts in, in unusual colors. A lot of times I'll use an Australian pink sea salt, which is um, gives just a super glistening um, color to and and color because it's unusual. And uh, you know, and the other thing I would say, um, a different tip. It's not about finishing the dish, but I. I how I start my menus is, you know, being so seasonal, I'll pick out things that are in season and then create my dishes from there. You know, as I said, I get my inspiration from the market, but like I'll say, I want to do something with sweet potato. Well then, it's like building blocks. You say, well, what goes with sweet potato? Venison goes with sweet potato, or cranberries go with sweet potato, or um, smoked duck, and then creating a dish from that from, from that building block. Take a look at our website, which is uh, monogramevents.com, and that is the French spelling, so it's um, a double M and a double E. And we'll also be at the Crave Party this, uh, this coming Tuesday.